Hey to everyone, Nate's Lab here. Sorry if I'm being quiet. Uh, it's really early. I wanted to get this video out because I want because I have a big video planned, but it's gonna take me a while because I want to actually do a really good job on it because it, it's something I like a lot. This is a little preview. You can see here. This is probably the biggest giveaway. Mega. That's not in focus, but yeah, there you go. Bit of a giveaway, but whatever. I'm still gonna look forward to making that video, and I hope you guys look forward to me posting it. Anyway, in today's video, we're gonna be making tris ethylene diamine nickel two chloride. I've actually already made this compound, however, I never made a video on it, and I just did it by myself to make sure it would work. And here it is. Now, actually, now that I look at it, it looks bright bright pink on camera, but it's actually a very pale purple color in, in real life. It's a really pretty compound though. And it look, kind of looks like magic going from this deep green we have in the flask, with, or not the beaker, which is nickel 2 chloride, to this pretty purple compound. Anyway, all you're gonna need for this experiment is nickel 2 chloride, which I have 100 grams of. It's a pale green powder, although it forms a pretty green solution. You're also going to need, wrong thing, ethylene diamine. Uh, this is extremely toxic and extremely flammable, and it's also uh, corrosive, so be careful around it. It also fumes in air for when you hydrate, so do this in a well-ventilated area. I have my door open. Well, now I do. It's just to get some airflow, get it blowing away. But ideally, you do this on a, in a fume hood or by a fan. The first time I did this, I had a fan running for the sake of recording. Uh, I kinda, it's really loud, so I don't have it turned on. And it's also in my room, and I'm recording in my lab. So, yeah. You're also going to need acetone, just to precipitate it. I uh, have some here, and I have more here. So, this is a really easy sense. You don't really need that much in, and in fact, the protocol I'm following you requires like 10 milliliters of 25% ethylene diamine solution, but I'm lazy and also impatient. So all I'm going to do is get a pipette full of ethylene diamine and squirt it in. Probably not going to give me the best yield, but it's worked before. So... Professional chemist, by the way. There we go. All right, here's our pipette full of ethylene diamine. All we're gonna do now is add it to this. Uh, this solution. And as you can see, very quickly, uh, very dark purple solution is formed with, uh, you can actually, there's actually some precipitant already. However, just to precipitate it all, I'm gonna be using, like I said before, acetone. So I'm pretty sure this bottle's already been open. It has, and I'm just gonna add about double the volume in acetone. Like that. I'm just gonna give it a good stir with the magnetic stir. That let it go, and actually, uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's look, it's got a bit, uh, it doesn't show very well, but oh, it actually looks more magenta on camera. Don't know what I expected, but yeah, so I'm just gonna let this sit for a while, let more precipitate out. I can see some already precipitating, but I'm going to let it sit for a while longer. And then after that's done, I'm going to be filtering it off the supernatant, supernatant into this flask using gravity filtration. Sorry. I had water in there for a other project. Alright, 
I think we've let it sit long enough. Now we're gonna do is pour it into this little I'm going to wash the beaker with a bit of acetone. Uh, you can see that, oh, I don't know if you can see, but you can see there's still some left in solution, but honestly, I don't really care enough to recover it all. And if you're copying this exactly, please put it into like a nickel waste container, which I have in the garage. Gotta wash the speaker one more time. Just get all of it. And that should be good. Actually, I'll do it one last time. All right, there's a shit ton more in the flask. I mean, beaker, I keep wanting to call it a flask. There we go. Now, there's still some left, but it's not worth collecting. A couple milligrams more after all I have this much. Anyway, uh, I'll show you what the final product, oh, well, I've already shown you what the final product looks like, but I'll be back when this is all done filtering. Now, I was actually going to record me uh, the dry powder, but I have more work to do, and i got to get this video done quickly. So, once you're done with the filtration, put it on, my paper towels here are crumpled, but you get the idea, put your filter on a paper towel, or just leave it out, because it all... Most of the water should be washed out, and it should be just acetone remaining. So you can just let that evaporate, and you will be left with a pretty, well, pale purple compound, but that looks like a vibrant magenta. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys hopefully soon, maybe in the next week or so. Bye-bye.